All right, guys, just want to talk about focus on one thing at a time. It's one of those things that, you know, when you go through the, the, the chuff on LinkedIn, you got all these people that call themselves leaders. Um, it's funny because leading to me is one of those natural things. You either can do it or it's not something you're... I think it's one of those things you're born to. You can reprogram yourself to a point, but um, a lot of the instincts and stuff are natural. And it's not knocking anybody. It's just that you see, when you look at it the way a lot of these companies look at it, it's very mechanical in the sense that they're not thinking. They're thinking that's the way you need to think. And they sort of flow a certain way, but they don't have the natural ability to adjust when things aren't going right. Um, but like I said, I'm not knocking it. But the, the point being is, one of the things I recommend is finishing something you start. And one of the things they always talk about is multitasking. Multitasking is not the best thing in the world. In fact, it, it often leaves a lot of things unfinished or a lot of things started and never finished. Um, you're better off just getting on with one task, completing it, and then on to the next. Um, where I worked before, many years ago, the director there, all he had was a pen and paper, and on a Monday morning, he wrote this long list of stuff he had to do for that day. Uh, and it could be for the week, because some of it you sort of recall, you see where people are every day. Um, so the point is, he'd worked down the list, and then we got to the bottom, went back to the top, worked his way down. Now... That may be multitasking in the sense it's many um, tasks, but do you know what? It was only one thing because all this was delegated. So you'd be going, Dave, have you done all the servicing on the air conditioning on these buildings? Da, da, da. Yes or no? I'm still on it, okay. And obviously you're going to the next question. And then you'd go around pestering everybody and he made sure everything was on there. So you never got away from it. It wasn't the case of, oh, forget about it. It's on his list. And that's the, that's the way to do it. He did it one at a time. He didn't go, all right, Dave, you've done the air conditioning. All right, Mike, you're doing the gas servicing on these boilers this week. Okay, get them all done by Friday. Blah, blah, blah. And I've no idea what anybody else is doing. The way he did it, he would go down the list and then he would go and double check tomorrow or if it was supposed to be done that day, if it's been done. He'd call you up and he'll say, right, Matt, you said you were there today. Have you finished it? He'd be like, well, it's, I'm still it's still here. I was, I was, all right. Do you think it'll be finished today? Yeah, I expected to. And he'll ring you in the morning. Did you finish that last night? And the, the whole point is he kept everyone on their toes because he knew to do things in order. Just keep going down, keep going down. And you find a lot of people start so many different things and they don't finish anything. I've been in a lot of companies that will tell people, you need to do this, and then somebody else will ask you to do that, and somebody else will ask you, and nothing's getting done because they keep talking um, from different angles, and they don't communicate with each other. They just all expect you to find a solution to all their problems. In those scenarios, what I do recommend is locking them down. Just simply say, is it more important than what he's doing? Because he wants me to do this. Well... I don't know. I said, well, can you ask him first and I can prioritise them. You go and argue with yourselves and then come back to me because I'm doing one at a time otherwise and I'll just do them in order. First come, first served or you sort the priorities out between you. You've got to get people to put things in order for you if you don't have that authority where they just go, well, I want it done by the end of today. So does everybody else. <laughs> you know, it's one of those things. Um... But even in life, when you look at bills, if you've got a bill that is a constant headache, um, for example, you dread your credit card coming in every month, keep hitting it, pay it off as quick as possible. Um, I mean, it, there is different ways to do it. I'm not really going to cover it too much in this video, but the point is you focus on the debt management. Because there's no point working harder, working extra hours if you're, anything you're earning, the bank's absorbing in interest or whatever. You've got to work your way out of that situation. Um, so the first focus is debt reduction. Because debt reduction means your work reduction. Because quite simply, if you're working to pay interest, um, if you get rid of the interest, do you need to do the extra work? The answer is no. Not unless you want to do it out of choice. Um, 
but that's a, a prime example of making sure that you keep everything in a, in a, in a methodical way and do one thing at a time. Um, and I find that's always the easiest way of doing it. And sitting listing it down is also a very useful way of doing it. And this is why you, you'll see on some of my videos, I have whiteboards. I've got about seven whiteboards because when I'm doing something, I'll, I'll make notes of it because not every whiteboard's for uh, the same thing. Because, for example, I might have something for this week to do and I might have something for the websites to do. So on this board, it may actually say spend five hours this week on websites. On the other board, it tells me what I'm going to spend those five hours on. It sounds a bit, uh, a bit much, but a lot of the time, it's how I can keep uh, very well organised. Like today, I've spent the entire day on the car. Um, I've had the, I went in with punctures because we had a, a cable company left all the um, bits of metal on the road, so I got five punctures in one tyre today. Um, so that got sorted, and while I was there, I got them to check the brakes. They, they've uh, replaced a set of the pads, and at the same time, since there was such a good garage, I got them to check the, uh, the diesel filter on it, and they've told me, you know, to do this, do that, come back next week um, before it goes in for its ITV, MOT, roadworthiness test, whatever you want to call it, um, because they can actually clear the filter for me. But I've also got a, uh, what do you call it? I've got a plug-in device for actually doing di diagnostics on the car uh, with my laptop. So I'm going to run that first because I can force it to do a um, filter clear by itself and see if I can manage it to get it blow all the crap out by itself rather than spending 100 euros and letting them do it. But to be honest, the garage is that professional. I wouldn't mind spending the 100 anyway. But there you go. There's a prime example. I focused on getting the car right this week um, because a I'm in Madrid uh, the, the, over the weekend but also I wanted to make sure that when I go for the roadworthiness test it's at least somewhere near because <laughs> the garage that sold it to me uh, I'm sure they would fit in rogues gallery really well but you know so far the car's been pretty good beyond the problems I've had with them messing around with the filter and the um, the computer control unit um, but beyond that, the car itself has been sound. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to say, you want to focus on one thing at a time. Because often we will move away from something that is uncomfortable. Let's say, for example, you have to go and tell, tell somebody you're firing them. And instead, you focus on getting the budgets in for this month. Because the budgets have got to be in for this month. Of course they do but they weren't as important as letting somebody know that you're letting them go because that person has got to sort themselves out and find another job, but also you've got the, the whole de delaying process then extends the amount of time that they're actually on your payroll. Um, so there's a lot of stuff like that that goes on where people will justify to themselves why they're not doing it. Um, this is what I'm sort of saying, organize yourself, prioritize yourself, and quite simply, do things one at a time, but to completion. Thanks for watching.